We will demonstrate right now a point test using EAV. The patient should sit comfortable so that you don't hurt your back. It's advisable that the patient sits a little higher, a little elevated. You could use a podium to set the chair on or have a higher chair. That keeps me more straight during the course while I test the patient. And I don't need to bend over like this, but protects your back. I will test this young man right now, and you see he wears some jewelry. Very nice jewelry, watch, rings, so, and a chain around his neck. So I will ask him to take this off because it is easier to test the points on his hands. So please take, remove your jewelry. And as you see right now, when it's harder to take it off, and in some cases a wedding band could be more difficult to take off, and it's very tight, then the patient can keep it on. And of course, I have this now in my hand, I shouldn't forget to give it back to him. Also, I have a pillow here. The pillow is there so that he can rest his hand, and that helps him to be more comfortable during the process while I test him. So the first step is we would like to establish his conductivity, how good of a conductor is here. And so how we do this, you place one electrode in one hand, and you have this extra electrode you place in the other hand, and then you just touch with your probe the other electrode. And what you see here right now is a reading of approximately as much as C82. That's a very good reading. A, it should be minimum 80, and it shows that he will be a good conductor. If you experience lower readings, there can be certain reasons for it. First reason would be that he maybe is a little dehydrated or he has dry skin. You'll find this particular in people who work manual with their hands, like a construction worker, for example. Also, it's advisable not to use any creams. So when you make your appointment with your patient, please remind him you will test the feet, so it gives him a chance to wash the feet, and no cosmetics or strong perfumes. In regards to the test, the test takes a lot of concentration, particularly for beginners. So therefore, I recommend to make new appointments in the morning when you're fresh not late at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock at night, you may be, be too tired, as well as the patient may be too, be too tired. When a patient comes to you and you feel he perspires a lot and he sweats a lot, maybe he was stressed out during his driving to your office, there was a lot of traffic, he was rushing, etc. Take that in consideration. So he can go to the bathroom, wash his hands right quick. His baseline was very good, so it's measurable. You see, I have a little Dixie cup here, and I put a little bit of water in here, just enough so that when I dip my probe in here, you see there's one drop attached to the tip. It will help me to conduct the currents, and I don't need to press so hard when I do the point measurements. Another good thing about this Dixie cup is when the next patient comes, you take it just out, dump it, have a fresh one. And then you can just have a spray bottle, spray a little water and add a little water. Not too much water so that the whole tip digs in it, just enough to cover the bottom. After each patient, it's advisable to just quick clean these electrodes. And I personally like to use some food grade hydrogen peroxide. Just spray them right quick or use a little paper towel, spray some on there and wipe it off. This is not toxic and will not hurt you in the long run as well as you can clean the tip right quick. 